Okay guys, today I'm doing something a little bit different, something I've never had to do before and I'm a little bit anxious about it. So I am, sorry you're just going to see my hands for a little bit. So I am going to introduce my two Cresta Geckos, they're both female. Um, I've had the second one probably three weeks now, which isn't really enough, it's normally about six weeks at least for quarantine but from what I've seen she's eating, she's active, she's generally a very, and she just generally seems a very healthy gecko and her and Isla have tanks opposite each other and they're constantly staring at each other. They don't seem to be very aggressive or anything, just they keep looking at each other so I figured today we'll go ahead and introduce them. I'm not going to get them to move into each other, it's just really to see how their first reactions are. As I said, I'm a little anxious, but the good thing is, if they freak out and there's like teeth going everywhere, their jaws are tiny, it's not really going to do too much damage hopefully. Um, so let's go and get the geckos. Okay, I'm really nervous about this, I'm going to get the other one out. I've never like, well I have partially introduced two leopard geckos together, it did not go well, it ended in hissing. And You'll notice the size difference. Do you know a lot of people didn't even know I had a second gecko? <laughs> Neither of you want to let go of my hand. Okay. Look at the size difference there. Ah, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, she's so much shorter than Isla as well. Like her tail looks so much shorter. What are they gonna do? They're like twins, don't you think? <laughs> That's the problem with crested geckos. A lot of the time they look very similar. They don't have as much variation, I don't think, compared to leopard geckos. I could actually get these mixed up if it wasn't for their weight. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's happening. They're not particularly, obviously, vocal. They don't have that tail whip like what leopard geckos do, so I have one gecko crawling up my arm at the moment, so you can't actually see that. Look, just hang upside down, yeah? <laughs> do not walk on her tail. Okay, so, um, first impressions, they're pretty normal. I, I don't know if this is a good bad thing. If anyone's ever done this before, let me know in the comment section below how yours has gone, whether this is normal or good or bad, I don't know. As I said, they're not going to move in with each other at the moment. This is purely just so they can actually see each other since they've been staring at each other for the last few weeks. Um, but yeah, I guess it could have gone worse. So Anyway, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.